Well, let's see how this goes. Um, I'm sitting here at Sounds Parking Lot. It's early in the morning. They're not open yet, so it's, it's kind of nice. It's a little above 60 right here right now, and it's supposed to be freezing tomorrow, so we'll get this over. This is um, about a series of, uh, actually just, uh, I went through two depressions uh, in the past. Uh, the first one was from puberty. The second one was much later in life during my professional career. I knew the second one was coming, so I was able to try to work on not killing myself at that point, but for the first one was the, during puberty times. We were living in a very small town in Louisiana, uh, Isla, Louisiana, and it was very small off the interstate, just a blinking blinking light at the interstate, no traffic lights, so, so small. The graduating class, what well, may have been 12, like 12 people or something, I'm not sure, it was really, really small. Um, but back then, there was a lot of hate toward gay people, and I definitely have a gay side. Uh, so I guess I'm bisexual or something like that. Never really explored it because I, I met my wife about seventh grade, and she is my soulmate. You know, she's, we're still married. We're looking like each other now. So I guess that's normal uh, for people like us. Uh, but even if there's resurrection or you know stuff like that, uh, reincarnation. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we'll still be together uh, even after that so we both know this it's kind of a weird thing but we we're meant to be together it's kind of odd but anyway so she's always been there anyway off track back to the depression part so back in puberty trying to figure out the the gay side of me uh, and that part of it um, it was really negative uh, because everybody hated people like me at that time um, so it was difficult, really difficult. Uh, this is a long time ago. And, you know, I have brothers and sisters, but kids being kids, you know, like kids are, can be cruel sometimes without even knowing it. Um, parents also wanted uh, the best for you and telling you, you know, they love you and everything else. Um, but they also were not fond of gay people at all. And uh, part of the problem that I had is uh, seeing in people's heads. I put out a video about that, about seeing pictures in people's heads, kind of knowing what they're thinking at times, and I grew up like that. And that made it even worse. Uh, so I could, what was happening was, people say one thing, and I'm also hearing another. People have two sides to them, I do too. Uh, people have two sides to them. It's just normal, the face they show and then what they're really thinking. And unfortunately, I could hear what they're really thinking a lot of the times. Um, so there was a lot of um, negativity, a lot of hate toward gay people, and I felt that and I saw that in people's heads, even sometimes when they're saying something different, including my parents. Um, so it made things really, really confusing. Um, uh, there was one time that, let me, let me go back to the uh, seeing in people's heads part again. I grew up like that, and it was really difficult because I would try to reach out to people's heads and talk to them in their heads and nobody could hear me and I thought I was a moron. I really thought, why are people ignoring me? Uh, this is stupid. Why aren't they teaching me how to get a grip on this? Um, maybe I'm just too stupid. Um, too stupid to learn. Maybe I'm just a joke. Um, why aren't they talking, you know, teaching me this kind of thing? I tried to bring it up to parents, but just like, it's normal. People can't understand this and grip it, and they couldn't either. Um, because it's not normal for, for people. So, and they couldn't. And at one time, I'm, I may have brought it up first, mentioned about a, maybe I need a psychiatrist help or something. I don't know. But at that time, mom was adamant, told all four of us kids, thou shalt not ever go to a psychiatrist. Because um, if they, you want to have children later, and you have children, and this is on your record, um, you will lose in court for any child custody, anything to do with your children, you will lose in court. They'll pull it out. So thou shalt never go to a psychiatrist. So that part was out for me, trying to figure things out. Um, I tried talking to my parents and other people about it, and you know, you just get ridiculed and blown off. Everybody does that. They still do it today. So uh, that's just normal, apparently. Um, part of this, being, having the gay side and everybody hating me, um, you know, in school there's bullying and stuff like that, and I'm sure other people noticed this about me even in high school, uh, that little small high school, um, and there were several times that um, there were gangs of people that wanted to beat me up and you know, kick my ass a lot uh, there, a whole bunch, uh, but the lucky thing about me is seeing in other people's heads, I was able to avoid it. There were many times that 
people were trying to convince me to go somewhere or do something and I could see what they're actually thinking in their head and it's like oh hell no I've got to get out of here avoid this and do this and then I'd find out later from other people sure enough that's exactly what they were planning to get me alone beat the shit out of me that kind of thing but I was able to avoid it because I could see what was in their heads um, so all this kind of strangeness about me worked out pretty well really well during that stage of my life it was still hard because there was a lot of hate and then I felt like I was a moron because nobody could show me how to use this and nobody would respond um, maybe I was just stupid uh, so that was all part of it and so it was a lot of negative a lot of dark uh, for all that kind of thing so I went to uh, the local church and I talked to the church pastor about it and, you know we're going to church at times and all that and the parents do that with their kids that sort of thing well, so I went alone and talked to the preacher about it, and pretty much he said he agreed with my parents that, that people like me are born wrong, uh, that I'm the thing that's wrong with the world. But being Christians, we're supposed to love you anyway. And that's so he agreed with my parents, is what he was saying. That made it even harder. It's like, okay, so you're telling me I'm a mistake. God hates me. It's pretty much what he was telling me. And everybody else in the world does too, including my parents, um, that sort of thing. And so when I came home from that, I was really, really upset. Um, my parents thought the, the preacher had sexually abused me. Uh, I was so upset. I told them, no, it wasn't anything like that. No, it was something else. This is what I literally said. It was something else. Um, because no, no sexual abuse, nothing like that. No, definitely not. But it was this other thing um, that I'm a mistake. God made a mistake with me, that kind of thing. And so from that point on, then it was the whole world hates me. Everything in creation hates me. The air I breathe hates me. And then I'm such a moron because nobody can hear what I'm trying to say to them in their head. I'm screaming and nobody can hear it. I'm trying to scream in their heads and nobody can hear it. Nobody's responding. What's going on? It's just me. And um, then I wanted to um, run away from home. So I packed stuff up to leave home. Maybe there's something out there other than this. So I tried that, and the other parents caught me at the front door and said, you know, well, where are you going to go? And that's, being loving parents, you would ask that kind of thing. I understand that. But at, those, at the time, I was in such a dark place, I took it as, where are you going to go? Everybody hates you. They'll kill you on sight. Because there was so much hate and so much dark in my life at the time. So that was another negative. It's like, I have nowhere to go. There is... I can't walk out the front door. I can't breathe the air. Um, I'm too stupid for anybody to even respond to me in my head. You know, I am completely wrong and I don't belong here. I don't belong on this planet. I don't belong in existence. I, I'm a mistake. And there was nowhere I could go. I couldn't run to anywhere. Not friends, not family, because they all hated me. I couldn't run to the religion because they all hated me. I couldn't run to anywhere anyone else outside the house because they hated me so there was nowhere for me to go so what I did is I went back to my bedroom and I laid down in bed just laid down and looked up and I knew by this point I could astral travel a bit so I'm like I'm done I'm just gonna lay here and die and that's what I did I laid there and died um, I'd let myself go I went out of body and let myself go and went up and out and never planned on coming back and right before I let go I said universe you know I'm worthless is there anything you want to do with me you go right ahead you know take this body do whatever you want I'm done I'm done here um I won't you know be a mistake here anymore so this is all yours this body is all yours do what you want I don't care so I went up and out and didn't come back didn't plan on coming back the thing is, something else happened, um, and I'll have to get this into another video because it's a major part of my life now, um, and it, something happened, and something changed, and something did come back in. I don't know if it was me or a part of me with something else or something else entirely, and I'm not me from the past. I'm not sure uh, exactly what happened, but something changed, and changed in a really big way, and in a major positive way for me. Um, maybe it's just the release of all the negativity. I don't know what it was. Um, maybe that's all it was. Release the negativity and all this craziness. It's just my imagination. And all these coincidences are just my imagination. Let's hope that it is. Because if it's not, it's, it's crazy.
Uh, I'm going to let's hope all this is crazy for me, okay? But something did happen, and I will talk about that in an um, upcoming video in Strange Happenings.